Friday stream jump in and say hello. That's our slower type. I've killed up to Amelia. Uh, I didn't kill the Blitzstar beast, but I killed the cleric beast. I'm not going to go very far into here. I'll just get the shards from the Forbidden Woods. One of the amazing things about this game is how the it's how they blend enemies with the color tones of the areas. Here's the, here's the tea I drops. Okay, leave Waid alone. All right. Welcome, Waid. Uh, I'm tuning in, but I'm not going to say anything since you blame me for any run failing. Where has this come from, mate? No, I don't. I think I've only done that once. I'm feeling confident about this run. I've been doing a lot of shortcuts here. For starters, um... You know, I do like Cleric and Gascoigne in one run. And then I did Amelia without doing the Witches. It was just straight in, bish bash bosh. So I'm not like dilly dallying, I'm not hanging around. How did Alfred get here without killing anyone? May the good bloods shower you with blood and such. May you have plenty of plasma and high whatever T cells. I had people in the chat yesterday be like, do you actually intend to finish this game? I'm like, why are people so mean? Is it like I'm intentionally failing? I feel like I'm doing quite well. I can't be good just on command. It's not gonna happen. Like, so many people would be like, you've got to choose this weapon. Like, the threaded cane is your starter weapon. The axe is your starter weapon. Uh, the saw cleaver, I'm like, okay, this is basically now just an opinion. There is no strict, this is the best way to do it. I start a new play through a Bloodborne and haven't died once and I'm at Mikalash. Good for you. Dude. Everyone's better at the game than me, I get it. No, but seriously, congrats. There was this dude the other day, he's like, oh, I'm new to the game, I decided to do a no death run. Animate ROM. I'm like, okay. Maybe I am just terrible at this game. I'm not that far off the end of the game, really. In the, in the scheme of things, Mikalash I'm confident on. I feel like I can beat Mikalash. And yes, I am going to kind of use a cheese. But, uh... Mergo, I should be alright with. Oh, fuck me! Oh my god, I didn't even know that was there. That long reach thing they have is so unfair. It is, that's the hard enough that they don't need to interrupt your attacks from a distance, like... That's just the icing on the shit cake. Stab one of those two sharks, and that was very hard, and they don't move that fast. They walk around, and then they jump around, but uh, they were really hard to stab with that thing. They don't make anything easy in this. Even a kind of, hey, here's a, here's a super weapon. Use this in a dire time of need. Oh, oh, we didn't say that using that would be easy. No, 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 no. Using that is very difficult, and it's probably not going to work. Because fuck you. We're from software. That's that mantra. I will be able to watch this one. Excellent. Glad. Hope your yeah, school stuff's going all right. Um, I got I got some incredible knowledge for you. Did you know that booby trap backwards is party boob? Did you know that? Careful how you use that information. Where's Mike? My trusted mod. I did what you said, I've threatened to kill you if people don't subscribe to my channel. If I don't gain subscribers, it hasn't worked yet. Maybe I need to up the stakes. You're at 267, exactly, great, right. Who else can I kill? Oh no. Great, that's happened again. That keeps happening. All right, next I'm gonna kill um, we vlog and stuff. Ah, uh, thank you. No, I honestly appreciate it. I know I'm glib on stream sometimes, um, the thing is, like, I've been looking at my stats and I just, they're blowing up for what is usual for me. So it's like, I really appreciate that. I appreciate anyone who's, like, coming in the stream and interacting. I'm not glib about it at all. thing is, I have, like, a kind of, a comfort zone where I get, like, bossy and, but it's just an act. But no, I really appreciate anyone who's watching subscribing especially the notification things because it's like they really want to bury small streamers like it's hard enough competing 
when these people are like the size of countries compared to you and you're like the size of a sausage roll. But uh, no, anyone who likes it, keep keep on trucking. This is the the one. I'm feeling good about this run. Oh, uh, we gaming stuff. If he's still there, um, I've been playing around with my OBS settings. Do you think the stream looks better? I've increased the bit rate considerably. All I'm asking for is 4K. Um. 600 frames a second. Hey Tchaikovsky, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. How's the run going? How's the run? Uh, for me, not too bad, I guess. I got up to the one reborn. Guessing that didn't work. It didn't work. What a surprise. What a bloody surprise that that didn't work. Why would it? It's only the rules. That's a lesson. Do not let him be on the stairs when you use the music box. Get down! Whoa! Okay, sorry about that. That was that was shit for me. Okay, do you mind talking about your run? Like, what have you struggled with the most? We're going to Old Yarnum. Old Yarnum. That lovely place. No, last time Waid got you killed. Oh yes. Oh my yes. You saw me go to the witches. I don't do that anymore. Because I'm more comfortable with the Amelia fight. I play that a bit more aggressively now. Which is the name of the game. You're meant to play this entire game aggressively. If you try and play it defensively, like one of the biggest mistakes is trying to back out the back out the way of an enemy attack. They will slaughter you for that. If you try to jump backwards while Sung swiping at you, chances are it will always hit you still. But if you jump forward into the attack, there is a chance it will miss you. It's scarier jumping forwards towards an enemy because you get disorientated. Like, especially with the lock on. But, uh, I was going to say lockdown there. Especially with the lockdown and the, uh, you know, social distancing. Like, remember last night where you let me stream for 10 minutes with the microphone off? And I asked you, hey, um, why didn't you tell me I hadn't turned the microphone back on? <laughs> just like, I don't know. Hey, Adriel. How you doing? Have you been on the stream before? Well, welcome back. It's time for me and the Bloodstar Beast to get a little acquainted. You know what? I think I've done this once or twice on stream. You're a skilled talker. How are you talking so loud from that building? You're whispering practically. Have you got a megaphone or something? What are you doing? You can piss off. You know, if I was if I was a petty man, I would come and kill you for that. Every boss is easy, but them all. Yes, they're exactly right. 100%. Okay. Now this is a bloodstarved beast. So what's the law there? Is that like the bloodstarved beast wife or something? Hus husband. I'm dead. I don't know what I do. Fucking hell! It didn't give me a second! <sighs> oh god, why is it so hard? It was going fine. Until that last moment, and it's when it's low health, it will not give you a second to breathe. So my poison meter was up. I needed to use an antidote. I was at half health, so it might have been easier to heal because it's quicker. And I've got to go through my items to get to the antidote. While I've got to dodge every single hit. It's impossible, mate. It's just fucking impossible. Hey, Derek, how's it going? Thanks for coming back. Oh, dear me. Please. End this nightmare. Who said do the Bloodstarved Beast? Oh, yeah. I told you, I cannot do that one consistently. It is so hard. Did I update the number already? I don't even know. I don't think so. I cannot do that one consistently. What I think I need is high strength and skill. Military veteran might be better for me. 
I'm going to try a military veteran. Okay, military veteran. Let's go. Just for a change. Um, yeah, Wii Gaming stuff, that was you, wasn't it? No, no, no. Um, if you're talking more generally, I got up to the one rebone the other day. And I don't know if I've done this already. I got up to the one rebone the other day. I managed to fight it twice because I used the, what do you call it? Uh, what is it? Hunter's Mark. I used a Hunter's Mark to escape the battle and then I tried it again and I died. So that fight is so brutal because it seems on paper easy and then Sunk will just be shot out the sky on your head and it's a one hit kill. But um, apart from that, I'm getting further and further. I'm usually going to Amelia straight away. Oh, wonderful. Oh my fucking god. Old D47. This is a good number. Hitman 47. Will you piss off? You big teddy bear. I've got this thing on a key ring and it's like a cat face with ears that are pointy. And I think they were big like a few years ago is like a if you get attacked you can put this key ring on and it's just it counts as art. It's an art design. You put that on and then you can blind someone with it or rip the spleen out. Now you know my pain. <laughs> now you know my pain. I was stuck on Lawrence for about a week. That fight, mate. That broke me. Whoever conceived that thing can burn in hell <laughs> for all eternity. Like, no offense to him, but I hope he dies alone. Absolutely no offense intended. Same with the person who invented the dogs in this game. It's in Scratchy Land where nothing can possibly go wrong. Possibly go wrong. That's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. When they're driving down the motorway and the kids see a poster for a restaurant that's 680 miles away and then they look out again and it's like 400 miles away. <laughs> And they just keep looking out at this restaurant getting closer and closer when they're like three miles away. They're like, Dad, can we go to this restaurant? He's like, no. <laughs> the next sign is restaurant 25,000 miles away. Which is, I don't know if you know this, but that's the circumference of the earth. So they only have one restaurant. Great. I'm dead. How did I survive? I am having so much trouble with this area now. I cannot do it. We're very sorry for you almost dying. Here is two free passes. And Homer's like, but there are five of us. And he's just like, here are two free passes. That's better. I'll find your dad. I'll find your mom as well. And your sister. To be fair, your whole family is just fucked right now. You might want to move out of Yarnum. This, I would love to see a Gotham City game in this era. I know there's a comic called... What's it called? Gotham by Gaslight? And it's about Batman in the Victorian era and he's hunting uh, Jack the Ripper, I think. I've never read it, but it sounds amazing. Take the hunter out, put Batman there, stick the Joker in, stick Scarecrow in. You could replace the bosses with Batman villains. And Gascoigne becomes... Raz al Ghul. There you go. There's one down. Put that in the bank. Uh, cleric beast. Well, these trolls are Solomon Grundy for a start. So, there's another one. Mikalash is a Riddler. I mean, Lady Maria, unfortunately, is probably Harley Quinn. Orphan of Cost could be Mr. Freeze. Lawrence is ironically Mr. Freeze. I like it. The old... Hot is cold. Does Batman have fire villains? He's only got like low tier ones. What's that guy with the jetpack? Pyro or someone? German is dead shot. Yes. I can see that. Yeah. He's got that like cool, calm, but he's razor sharp. Razor, razor sharp deadly. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Batman will be doing this. He's got a little Walkman. Let's get the old Lynx aftershave on the go. 
For you Americans, that's a... Uh, well, what do you call links in America again? You got a different name for some reason. Axe! You guys called Axe Body Spray. Well, we call it Lynx. So your films have a lot of Axe jokes where we're like, well, what's Axe? Alfred. Wow, they've even got an Alfred in this. So there you go. This this game is right in itself. Call it Batbone. I've got my Bloodbone hat, by the way. You see the top hat? Check this out. Can you see that? See my old Bloodbone? I made that just for the stream. Look at the size of that hat. That's how much I care about the stream. And people are coming in. Not naming names, but it's Waid. And he's saying, You're boring. You're going too slow. And I start crying. And then I rush into the boss. And then I die. Alright, there's this Tantu head said, Why do people love the Soul Cleaver so much? When I did my first run, like just normally playing the game i used the axe and i loved the axe because i could create distance like when it's extended i could create a lot of distance and then this angry irishman came into the stream and he said every single streamer on the planet who streams this game like doing whatever you call them speed runs uses a soul cleaver it's the best weapon stop using any other weapon so then i just stop using it uh <laughs> Are you an axe man? <laughs> the weird thing is, I've never really had any negative people in my Bloodbone streams. There was one guy that came in. <laughs> I've, I've said this before, but he just started. I can't repeat what he says, but call me racist names. And then I just said, um, Are you trolling? And he said, Yeah, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just left. So, um, not even had any, like, well, technically bad people but he apologized that's because you're a great streamer oh thank you honestly i really appreciate that i wouldn't dare man some serious hardcore shit oh here we go yeah this is about uh doing a no death run only the skilled warriors can pull off a no death <laughs> yes well that is i'm glad you noticed that i am an alpha male and <laughs> um i don't know Maybe I'm... Look, I'm not a superhero, okay? Now this room can kill me. Alright, I don't. I just don't want to die to not a boss. I want to die only to bosses. That's my rule. I'd really like to get that antidote, actually. Nah, let's not. I wish you reloaded that gun. Okay, if they're gone... Oh, no! I hate this game. I've got fankles. I actually think that caused me major health problems. That's my fat ankle story. So don't have fat ankles. Or don't go to London. That's probably the more... The more salient point. Whoa, where's the dog? How's the dog on top? We're in upside down world, mate. Imagine if the music box... <laughs> what, what could it play that would be highly insensitive? That'd be hilarious because he grabs his ears like he's in pain. So let's get some nickel back in there. Gascoigne has been walking around... Chopping up bodies like nobody's business. You know what he is? He's a deadbeat dad. He's neglecting his daughter. She's sitting at home waiting for him. And he's just like, dude, I got better. I'm I'm off to the graveyard, mate. I'm out of here. Get them on Jerry Springer. This is a dysfunctional family right here. Am I still streaming, by the way? I get the feeling I'm not online. Oh, I am. Oh, sorry. One question. Yeah, go ahead. I'll just sit down for it, apparently. Yeah, give me the question. I... Don't know why I just did that. Go on then. This better not be about incest again. Yes, what has happened to Mike? Is he mad at me? My old... My old, uh... Hold on, I'm gonna make you mod. Give me a sec. I'm dead. Shit in hell. Ugh.
dude. I'm just not having a good run.